Hello, good evening, and welcome. You've just entered the arena. I'm Michael Corrin. Whether you like it or not, and thank you for joining me. Now, I don't mean to, to, to spoil your, your pumpkin pie and all that, but what exactly is it that we uh, were meant to sit down to pretend to be thankful for? Well, first and foremost, it's Thanksgiving for Canada, our home and, and native land. Unless those, well, native land claims are taken seriously and the 110% of the country they claim to be theirs is given to them. But don't dare criticise because they were here first, even the ones who weren't. Uh, but Canada it is so safe. Well, yeah, of course it is, at least for the time being, until Islamic terror gangs decide to treat us the way they've treated Britain, Spain, the USA, Jordan and pretty much everywhere else in the world. We can scream that we're peace-loving and Muslim-friendly until, until we're blue in the face, but it won't matter one bit. Still, we are free. Well, sort of. Uh, on the one hand, there are the human rights commissions and activist lawyers working their publicly funded bums off trying to reduce our ability to speak our minds in public. On the other are ethnic, religious and sexual special interest groups promoting their own agenda and anxious to stifle anyone who protests. We have to be thankful that we have law and order. Really? No law and order if you happen to be unlucky enough to have worked all your life for a house and then find it's on land claimed by natives. Suddenly the police see and hear no evil unless it's you complaining about them um, seeing and hearing no evil. Murderers walk free after 10 years in prison. Rapists spend 12 months behind bars. Gun-carrying thugs receive a warning. And as for teenagers who beat, steal and intimidate, it's not really their fault and they deserve a 15th chance, don't they? But we have the Charter of Rights. Well, yes, we do. Now, before that, we had a legal code and system that worked very well. Now we have empowered every piece from the Canadian jigsaw to pound against each other and, and destroy the picture. A very few mainstream law-abiding Canadians benefit from the Charter, but almost every radical in the country adores it. Now that we have public health care, oh, give me a break. We're ranked 30th in the world, and we celebrate when we can have a hit replaced in less than a year. The French, the Germans, they laugh at our system, but we don't have to change because we can buy all the myths about the American system and we can bleed to death in our complacency. But we're respected abroad. Well, you know what? We're generally unknown abroad. I mean, Canada is considered a large northern suburb of the USA, but without the glamour and the power. As for being historical peacekeepers, oh, come on, this is bunk. We're historic warriors, but our armed forces have been emasculated by people who are embarrassed by our martial traditions. But what about the arts? Look at our writers and actors. Hey, nonsense. Millions of dollars in public subsidies to produce mediocre books and truly dreadful television dramas. But we're still Canadian, and, and that's a great thing. Well, yeah, was in 1867, 1914, 1940, and even 1967. But now it's almost a crime to be proud of the founding culture of this country. Look, a collection of economically viable shopping malls bound together by forced multiculturalism and force-fed liberalism. Well, what is that? I've spent half my life in this country, and I love it. But loving it doesn't mean admitting that uh, everything is perfect. So much has gone wrong, and we still take it out on the poor little turkey. Oh, happy Thanksgiving.